Please give it up for a very funny guy, Stuart Armstrong, everybody. Let him hear it. Stuart! Damn! Damn, it's good to be here. I gotta tell you, I have worked damn hard to get to where I am right now. That step, damn hard. I am exhausted, winded. But it was worth it, because I get to see all you lovely people. And I've got a message for you. It's happening. You listening? It's happening. Things get harder to do the older you get. Right? I mean, even standing up straight for me is an isometric exercise. <laughs> I used to be an athlete. Now I feel like I'm training to be a Walmart greeter. <laughs> uh, man, oh man. Good evening. Welcome to Walmart. How can I help you? Don't make me walk anywhere. Walk two feet that way, two feet that way. I take a 15-minute break every half an hour. That's what I do. <laughs> but you know, it's not for lack of trying. Because uh, I have a uh, gym membership. I don't go. <laughs> Why not? It's not really a membership. It's more like a sponsorship. <laughs> I went to the manager of the gym and uh, I told him, I said, you know, I've been donating to this facility now for 10 years. And this is what I have to show for it. You should name something after me. And to my surprise, they did. If you go to the Equinox in Columbus Circle, the magazine rack named after me. Yeah. So when you're reading that October 2007 issue of Marie Claire, you got me to thank for it. You're welcome. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out at this group here, and there's a lot of fit people here. I mean, you guys, gosh, look at really great looking fit people. Any, any runners in the group here? Anybody like to run? Yeah, back here? Yeah, you know, yeah, yes, right here. Maybe right over here. Maybe you, can answer, maybe you can answer a question for me. You know, I heard that if, if you were really diligent and you work hard and, and you run almost every day, you get to the point where you can hit a threshold. And beyond that threshold, your endorphins kick in. And you become euphoric. Does that happen? Has anybody ever experienced that? Yeah? Well, let me, I got bad news for you. Tell me the bad Yeah. My threshold for fitness is so low, you might have noticed when I came up that step, endorphins. I'm euphoric. It's absolutely great. You know, you know the other time that endorphins kick in? Sex. Yeah. Yeah. My wife and I have been married 23 years. Yep. And we are very serious about practicing safe sex. You know, we don't want any unexpected results. The other night, at the peak of passion, I'm not sure why that is so funny. Um, my wife leaned over to the bedstand table, opened the drawer, and said, Dear, you better wear one of these. At which point she gave me an ace bandage. <laughs> we, we play little sex games to, to put on, a little playful thing to put, put it on, you know. And, uh, and it would have been, been fine, but she sort of screwed it up because she unplugged my heating pad right in the middle of it. <laughs> You know, a lot of my bit, 
and it ramps up. You guys happy with that? I mean, it started slow. It's getting a little bit better now, right? Um, a lot of my bits about a lot of my oh geez, it was a there's a, a mouse in the house. Uh, a lot of my bits about age, um, for the obvious reason, but um, the uh, but age confuses me a little bit. I mean, I'm I'm 58 years old, and and I don't know where I am. I mean, I know physically where I am. Uh, but categorically, I don't know where I am. I mean, middle-aged, 58, middle, 116? No. We've already established I'm not in very good shape. I'm not going to get to 116. Somehow, I seem to have blown past middle age. But I'm not a senior. So what am I? I'm in between. I am a tween from another scene. I am Twelderly. And I gotta tell you, it is great to be Twelderly. There is a shitload of us. Baby boomers. Do we have baby boomers here? Anybody? Okay, great. There's a lot of us, and the market caters to us. We have our own TV network. CBS. <laughs> Come back seniors. And it's a great lineup of shows. How I Met Your Grandmother. And the reality shows are fabulous. So you think you can walk? <laughs> the Biggest Loser. Last, last season's winner. She lost all of her teeth. She lost four grandchildren at the mall. And in the finale, she lost her mind, I know. Sort of sad, but she, she, won, she won the money. Um, and Survivor. And I'm not talking about an island with that guy, Jeff. This is about one old guy just trying to stay alive. <laughs> My... Um, you know, on, on cold nights like tonight, my wife and I, you know, we like to cuddle up in bed and watch TV on the iPad, you know. And um, we watch our favorite show, NCIS Boca Raton. <laughs> with uh, Betty White and Don Rickles joining forces to fight gravity incontinence and bingo fraud the last episode we were watching we were both uh awake at the end of the episode <laughs> uh and uh so i looked over i had a little twinkle in my eye i reached under the pillow and i pulled out a fresh not yet unwrapped ace bandage <laughs> And uh, those endorphins, they kicked right in. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Love you, Love you. Stuart Armstrong, let him hear it. <laughs>